Canada ignoring the most vulnerable. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel Dot Media. Since the beginning of the refugee rush, we've been told several things. One, we had to move fast because people were living in squalid conditions in refugee camps. We know that not to be true. Most of the refugees didn't come from camp, something we've shown you for quite a while now, while most of the other media ignore it. But the other thing we were told is that Canada needs to help the most vulnerable. Well, to me, the most vulnerable would be those groups, those people that are being targeted based on their ethnic or religious minorities. Immigration officials have been saying for months now that they aren't able to track that. But at committee, at the Immigration Committee for the House of Commons, Bob Soroya, Conservative MP, asked officials about the number of Yazidis being helped, and it's shockingly low. We are not able to identify refugees by ethnic origin. We don't have that data in our systems. We are dealing with a small number of Yazidi cases, and we know that there are some in particularly difficult circumstances in parts of the world that are extremely difficult for us to get to. Um, but we are working on a small number of cases at this time. I don't know if Don has more details, but the number is quite small. I, I believe it's nine cases at the moment. Nine cases. Now, nine cases, that doesn't sound like much at all. It turns out it's a bit more than that. Officials later clarified that nine cases means nine families, an average size of four to six. They didn't have a definite number, but out of 25,000 refugees that we've brought in from that region of the world in the last, what, six months? Only nine cases. 36 to 54 people are from the Yazidi group, a group facing extermination. It's something that conservative immigration critic Michelle Rempel says is unacceptable, and she's calling on the government to step up Canada's game. I fully appreciate that there's a humanitarian crisis that affects everyone in the region. It's very bad there. That said, um, these people are being eradicated off the face of the earth, and we need to do more. You know, put politics aside, we need to do more to help this group. Now, recently, I brought you an interview with Dalal Abdallah. She's a Yazidi human rights activist, someone that came to Canada many years ago and is now fighting to get more Yazidis into this country, even going so far as to partner with Majid al Shafi and his One Free World International to negotiate for the freedom of three to four hundred Yazidi former sex slaves. She's trying to get them into Canada, and these people are being ignored. They're being left behind, she says. And this needs to stop today. We need to, we need to do something for these people. We can't just play deaf ear on these. We can't, we, can't just not, we can't just not hear them screaming for our help. We have to do something. As Canadians, I know that as Canadians, when something goes on in the world, we are the first ones to stand up and to give, to give a hand. Why aren't we doing that for the AZDs? If Canada is about helping the most vulnerable, then this revelation by the Immigration Department, the utterly arrogant Immigration Department that chastises anyone that dare question them. Yes, I've dealt with those two officials that we showed you earlier. I've dealt with them. They don't like to be questioned, and they don't like the idea that we should be helping ethnic and religious minorities. Somehow they say that is an affront, and yet these are the people who are the most vulnerable. These are the people that are being targeted by the likes of ISIS, by the likes of the other uh, militias and terrorist groups that are fighting in a serious civil war. These are the people that we should be helping. We're not. And it's a shame on Canada, more specifically, a shame on the Trudeau government. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a rebel update. Want even more of The Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.